Welcome to the Barreto family. If you are new here, my name is Kayla Barreto and we are missionaries in Columbia, South America. And this video is going to be with some packing tips for Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. And I've done a couple of these videos before, just giving you guys my opinions as a missionary, as someone who has seen these boxes received by kids, on just some tips of what to pack or how to pack. And so I wanted to share a few more things because we've had a couple things come up this year as we've gotten boxes and as I've talked to you guys on the platform. So I wanted to share with you guys a few more things. If I show you guys any items or things um, that I recommend, I'm gonna try to find some links and put them below. After the last video that we posted, a few of you guys went out and used those links and purchased things, and we get a small percentage of the purchase. So the links that I put below, it's the normal Amazon price. You don't pay anything more for those items, but if you buy them, we get a little kickback. And so from your purchases on that last video, I mean, it wasn't even a lot. I think there were only three different people that went and made purchases, but those small purchases that were made provided snack for our kids at our last Saturday Kids Club. So I just wanted to share that with you as a little tidbit of those small actions are helping us in a big way. You guys saved us on snack for this past week. So thank you guys. You guys provided some awesome cream sandwich cookies and it's like a powdered tea mix that we use um, for juice. So you guys provided juice and cookies for about 60 kids last week just from purchasing a few things on Amazon. So thank you guys for that. I will put, like I said, links to a few things that I mentioned today. There's not gonna be a whole lot, but I am gonna mention a couple. So the first tip, let's jump into it. Um, and this one's really important and I've mentioned it before, but this is a what not to send. Do not send candy. Um, on one of our last videos of the crazy or terrible things that we received this year, I mentioned candy and it was like a candy bracelet or necklace that came in and I figured, you know, it might have slipped by in the processing center because it looks like beads. But this time, a couple weeks ago, we opened a box for a kid, a kid received a box and it had like packages, those box that you would get at a movie theater of Sour Patch and there was one other candy, I can't remember what it was, I'll put a picture over here, but we opened it and there were candies in it and I would have let the kiddo keep it. She was super excited to get US candy, but it was expired. And so one thing you guys need to realize is that even though you pack the boxes in October, November, um, we didn't open it until May. And by then, I think it's just the best by date, so technically you can use it, um, but we didn't wanna risk it. And so I did check the dates and unfortunately it was past the date. And so we swapped some things out for that kiddo. But First off, I know that Samaritan's Purse does not allow candy to be sent. And second off, that's just something just in case it accidentally gets by in the processing center. It's just better to not even risk it and not send it. So just a, just a mention that make sure you don't put candy in the boxes. Another tip would be to fill the box. Um, obviously, you never want to teach kids to compare with one another, but we're human. It's going to happen. And so if two kids open their boxes and one of them's half full and one of them's really full, it's always just kind of a bit of a bummer for that kiddo, even though they enjoy it and they love what they get. So I would say my one tip would be do the best you can to fill a box. And if that means that you send a few less shoe boxes so that the boxes you send get full, I would recommend that absolutely. But I've also seen um, boxes can be filled in so many different ways. There's not one way to fill a shoe box. You can do it with themes, you can do it with a color scheme, you can do it with just a random assortment of items because that's how God leads your heart. You can do it with homemade items, store-bought items, combinations, like there's tons of ways. So don't ever let there be a limit on the imagination of what you can put in a shoebox. But I would say make sure you try to fill those shoeboxes. Another tip would be to stick with English if you put things... Um, with words on it, if you put like uh, books and things like that. Stick with English because you don't know what country it's gonna go to. So if you send it with Spanish and it happens to go to a Spanish country, fantastic. But if you send it with Spanish and it goes to Kenya, there's less likely of a chance that there's gonna be someone in Kenya that speaks Spanish than someone that speaks English. Just from what I've heard and the missionaries that I've talked to, um, I have talked to a couple different missionaries in Africa and they recommend it as well to stick to English just because there's a higher chance. It's possible that they're not even gonna be able to read English no matter what, 
but there's a higher chance that they'll read English than another language. So that is one thought on sending written material. Also, don't send Bibles. Now you might be thinking, but sending a Bible is a great way to get the Bible in. However, in the majority of these countries where these boxes are given, Samaritan's Purse provides a Bible for every kid that gets a shoebox. So that's already been taken care of. So you can save a little bit of that space and put some other things in there, knowing that those kids should be getting a Bible with their shoebox anyway. Um, typically, you give the Bible after you do the discipleship, so they don't get it the day that they get their shoebox, but there is a Bible there for them. So just sharing that a little bit. Another tip, we've had some questions on school supplies and art supplies and what's the best thing to send and what should I send for my kids? Um, what should I put in? They love um, new art type things. Like I've seen at Walmart, you, you can buy them for like 99 cents where it comes with magnets and it's like a scratch off um, paint by number. I know you can't send paints, but you can send color by number. So if you're going to send art supply things, that would be great bead kits to make jewelry and bracelets, things like that. And if you're talking about school supplies, there's a few things that I would absolutely recommend to put in every box school supply wise. I would say for every box with school supplies, you should put in some number two pencils, some regular yellow pencils, a pack of colored pencils, the whole pack so that they have all of the colors. Um, most kids in most countries need at least a blue and a black and possibly a red pen. So a set of like a three color set of pens. And then I would also include a good eraser and a good pencil sharpener. So that's just going to sum up some of what I've mentioned in past videos, but some good school supplies to make sure you put in to every box. Um, also, people have been asking me, what should I do for wow items for 10 to 14 year olds? What are some good ideas? And that's why Eliana's currently playing with my little tumbling Jenga tower. Um, but I had these laying around the house and I thought about it. I've traveled to quite a few different countries. I've got friends that live in other countries. And one game that is fairly universal, I can't say it's in every country, but fairly universal is Uno. And even if they don't um, know how to play it, Uno is also a game that the cards are pretty basic that they could even invent a game themselves. So Uno would be a great game to include. I have played it in France, Spain, um, Ecuador, Colombia, Costa Rica, Mexico. So this is a very common game, I would say worldwide, even though I've never been all the way around the world. But this would be a good game to include if you're looking for something for older kids. Jenga would be another one because they're going to understand the idea of it. Um, this one, I think we bought at the dollar store, or I think my family gifted us from the dollar store. And so that would be a really simple way to fill part of a shoebox with a fun game for older kids. Um, but Jenga is always a good idea. But those would be two games that you could include in your boxes for the older kids. I would say don't send like obscure games that have a lot of rules that are difficult to play. Um, just because they've probably not experienced it. So those would be two good ones that are fairly common or fairly universal, in my opinion, that they could probably play. Another thought, and this has been interesting because I've talked to some of you guys in the comment sections about underwear and sending menstrual pads and things like that. And three years ago, I would have said, don't send it because it's kind of an awkward item. But after seeing so many of you guys and how you box, I think a great way to include those items and make it not awkward for the girls or the boys receiving it would be to stick it in one of those little like drawstring um, organza, I think is what the material is, but those little drawstring bags, it just conceals it, hides it, um, doesn't make it super obvious of what it is, but you still get an essential item tucked in their box. So I would say definitely send it. I'll try to find a link to some organza bags and throw them in there for you guys, but definitely send, um, send them. Just try to, I would say in my opinion, personal opinion, again, try to conceal it a little bit so that the kiddo doesn't feel awkward pulling out underwear in front of six of the other kids. And then the last tip that I had, um, just to mention quickly in this one, try to use all the corners and crevices and spaces that you have. I've seen people fold Barbies like, at their waist so that they fit perfectly into a corner um, and save some space. I know we've had this discussion in the comments a lot about how will they know that it's a real Barbie. 
they'll tell by the quality. So if you take it out of the box, they're still gonna know. Um, you can also put a little piece of the packaging in it or something that says Barbie. I know Barbie has a lot of accessories that say Barbie on it that you could stick in there with them. Um, but fill all of those little corners and crevices. If you send a water bottle, tuck some socks inside or um, some marbles or something inside of it to use that space that's inside of the water bottle um, in the box as well. But I think those are my tips for today. I tried to think of some new tips that I hadn't mentioned before. And make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already so you catch that next video answering some of your specific questions in a Q&A. And if you haven't seen some of our tip videos, I will link them over here so that you can see them. And we will catch you on the next video.